left front of Johnson Street. Good morning, WayFam from Victoria, BC. I'm Ashley, this is my husband Josh. Welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So be sure to subscribe down below, give us a like, and hit that little bell to follow more of our adventures. Let's go. All right, this morning we are at Floyd's Diner because <laughs> Ashley is really hungry and she has a proposition yeah. for me. I'm so excited. So at Floyd's, they have this dish called the Mahoney. The chef just pretty much makes whatever they want. It's a big dish worth $16. Supposedly at the end of your meal, if you're feeling lucky, you can um, flip a coin and pay double or nothing. Well, <laughs> let's go enjoy breakfast, shall we? The Mahoney is for me. <laughs> but it's a nice looking menu. Yeah. Okay, some water's for you to Thank start. Thank you. Are getting coffee to get started, friends? Uh, coffee does sound nice, yeah. Yeah? Do you have... This is even better than I imagined. We have a little breakfast burrito dragon on the top. I thought so maybe cool. they would just like make a big pile of food. Yeah, like but this one is plate. Oh, this is amazing. How did they do that? So where do you start? Well, I guess at the top and then, okay. There's like three plates on this. What's the bottom one? I'm really glad it's not one of those things where you have to finish it in order to get it for free. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess after we eat it, that's when we, before we get the check is when we um, decide whether or not, or flip the coin to see if we pay double or nothing. But Josh and I decided if we end up paying nothing, then we're going to have some mimosas to celebrate. <laughs> so a lot's on the line for this. thought that we were going to have to pay, which was rude, but that's crazy. That is 50-50 right now. 50-50 right now. Okay, that's that's the odds on the coin flip. We'll see. I have it all packed up there awesome. for you. Thank you. So, it's a regular tuning. I'm going to show you. It's a regular tuning. Regular tuning. Awesome. I'm going to flip it, catch it, and put it on my hand. Whatever's showing on heads or face up is what you get. And so call it in the air, okay? What do you think of breakfast? It was amazing. That was the best way to start the day. Really, seriously. Like yeah. I, I told Josh we should do a day. Let us know in the comments below if you would like a day where we flip a coin for everything we do. That seems a little extreme. I think you would love it, but let us know. All right. Well, we came to the Fort Rod Hill and Fiskard Lighthouse National 
Park, I suppose. Um, it is normally three ninety, I believe, Canadian to get Super in. Cheap. Although during the winter on weekdays, it's free. If you come on the weekends, all the attractions are open and that's when you have to pay. As you can see, the lighthouse is right there behind Ashley's head. And then behind us, Bling. is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. <laughs> and way back there is Washington. We can see Washington State from this point. Yeah, crazy. I um, love coming to lighthouses because it just reminds me of how much work it was back in the oh day to keep lighthouses going. You just have to every four hours make sure that the candle and the wick is cut so that it just continues. Whereas now, nowadays, really, we don't have much. No use for lighthouse keepers? Not really. Good it's it's electronic. <laughs> they have bulbs that replace themselves. I mean, it's nuts. Good thing you didn't choose that as a career. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> so in the late 1890s, this fort was built and it was uh, designed to protect the area from naval attacks during wars. Um, around World War II era is when the threat of invasion or attack, you know, changed from the sea to the land. And so a lot of the batteries or the large guns that they used were modified to be able to defend against airplanes and that sort of thing. But you can still walk all around the park. We've come out to the lighthouse point, but way back there, and all along there is forts, batteries, little installments. They've even got these things called uh, authentics, which are old style authentic tents that you can stay in for events and even just for camping. A lot of cool stuff to be had here. Where is he? And Ashley just exploring. Where is him? What? Where's the little guy? What little guy? Those people said that there's a little otter out here and he's just hanging out. I oh. wanted to find him. I but don't I like see. those little birds. They have little like red mohawks little hedgehog heads yeah <laughs> it's so beautiful i love the water i just love the water it makes me so happy even if it's cold water i would prefer warm but this will do well you'll have warm water in a few months yeah yes asia here we come mm. <laughs> we are at goldstream provincial park now it was way too cold by the water so we came here into the forest uh, it is 288 hectares established in 1958, donated to the province of Victoria, BC. Wait, Vancouver, BC. Did it? The reason why I wanted to come here is I saw on a YouTube video this couple that was walking on this really big um, train track. They call it a trussle. I've never heard that word before. Is that a Canadian word? So I saw this on a YouTube channel. I saw people walking across this big long bridge that used to be a um, railway. And so I was excited to come here. I chose it and that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, if you're afraid of heights, maybe look away. Honey, 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 Vancouver's honey, Niagara Falls, it's honey, so pretty. Honey, How was that hike? Oh man, I did not know it was going to be so uphill. The sun is going down. We get this beautiful golden hour light. We are in downtown Victoria now. We dropped off our rental car. Um, we usually don't film hassly stuff yeah, like but, that. But I would say to rent a car if you get the opportunity yes. here on Vancouver Island because there's so much to see outside of the city. Yes, but for the next few days, I think the next two or one, two days, we're, yeah. we're, we're gonna be in downtown area for the most part. So we're not gonna need a car. We dropped it off. Um, that is the Empress behind us. We're going there later this week. So stick around oh for gosh. that. Right now we're headed to a place called Nourish. Ashley picked it because it looked amazing for drinks and food. Yeah. Honey. 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 Cheers to Blossom. 
Mmm, you get to drink it and smell the flower at the same time. <laughs> I've got a drink called Blossom. So beautiful. This drink has flowers and seeds in it. It's got gin, and I'm pretty sure a brut. Sparkles. Not bad at all. Next up is dinner at Ten Acres. Their dumplings, they're so good, so soft, really warm, and I love the tomato sauce on them. That is delicious. That's pork belly and no pork. It's so good. Them. I don't know it's why. True. I, I think they're hoarding them for themselves. They're like a hidden secret. <laughs> don't believe those people. These are bombs. Oh my goodness, another fantastic day. Um, I feel like we just eat and go on hikes. <laughs> but really, when you're coming to a place like Victoria, that is some of the cool things that you get to do. You get to experience a wide range of food and a cool history as well as the beautiful nature mm. that is just everywhere, it seems. I feel like everywhere we went today um, for eating was such a unique experience mm -hmm. with Floyd's. I've been talking about flipping the coin all day she long. Has. <laughs> Because it was she so it. much fun. And then um, our drinks was at Botanical, so they all had floral um, yeah. arrangements in them and then, um, like, theme. And then, lastly... Um, Ten we, Acres. The food at Ten Acres was phenomenal. Amazing. They get it, it from a huge um, farm, just not very long from here because mm. we drove through it which was amazing yeah and they have all their food locally sourced from victoria yeah so or I vancouver island vancouver. i should say yeah i love that yeah. it's so fun to eat at places like that yeah it is pretty cool and honestly that food like every every bite was a flavor explosion yeah it was fantastic to be honest the hike i was not expecting it to be oh so goodness. straight uphill i um was almost dying <laughs> but it was worth it to see yeah. the awesome bridge at the end and be sure to take right instead of a left because we went the wrong way and looked on our map to make sure that we were going the right way. Yeah, so when you reach the, the fork, yeah. whenever whenever you feel like you need to go on a fork, go left. Yeah, it's not I well, mean, right. It's not very well marked. Take a right. Anyways, Wayfam, I hope we encouraged you to get there and travel today and that we encouraged you to come to Victoria, explore the beautiful mm -hmm. nature, the history here, and the food that is uh, to be had. Well, we, we have two more days here, and we get to spend it downtown Victoria, whereas the last couple of days we've been exploring the island of Vancouver. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what more the city has to offer. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.